It is by His Word everything exists. It is by His Word everything came into being. And nothing exists without the Word of God. I submit to you that before one of God will pass, heaven and earth will pass. And as we sat upon the Mount of Hades, the disciples came and the private is saying, Tell us what shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And at the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Saying that I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of words and rumors of words. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And he shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall not soul. But he that shall the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Behold, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. Behold, the appearing of the Lord is near. It is the acceptable time of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is time to turn to God. For too long you have been looking to man. For too long you have been looking to idols. For too long you have been looking to other gods. For too long have we provoked God. He said tonight that the cup is full. He's saying tonight that the cup is running over. But yet he's a merciful God. And tonight as a people and as a nation, he's telling us that we must turn to him. He's telling us that we must see him while he can be found. He's telling us that we must call upon him while he is not.
and say to somebody, you might think that it is too late, but it is never too late for God. You might think that you are cut off because of all the evil that you are done. But God has brought me here to tell you tonight that it is time for you to come to God. It is displeasing your ways. It is Turn and 
Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up on ancient doors, that the King of glory it may come here. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Nations of the earth, welcome the King of glory. Welcome his glorious light that your captives, those who are bound in spiritual darkness, in emotional pain, in poverty and disease, that they may be set free to the abundant life of Christ. Welcome his seven rule and lordship that the blessings of heaven may be released upon her. Bow before him in worship and prayer and explore his holiness. Nations of the heart, position yourself in the shadow of the Almighty. Kings of the heart and rulers of nations, cleanse your hands and purify your hearts. Be loose from lies of deception. That blessing and righteousness may flow from God of your salvation. For he's seeking a generation who will seek him and turn to him. Know him and walk in his ways. Lord, release strength and courage to those who walk according to your ways in every nation. That the remnant of your goodness, those who abide in your great light, even in the darkness, darkest nations of the earth, in Italy, in China, in other places of the earth, release your light even now over every nation. These are the ones who carry the spiritual inheritance of their nations. They carry the deposit of your glory laid from the foundation of the earth. Because they love you, you will deliver from all evil. You will set them securely on high place because they know your name. As they call upon you, may they experience mighty encounters with your goodness and glory. Answer them speedily, God. Sit over your people in the heart. Announce your kingdom to your people and testify of the and testify of your mighty manifestations of your miraculous power. God above all, O Jehovah Christabat, Lord of all hosts, Lord of the heavens and of the earth, let your kingdom come, let your will be done through the earth, as it is in heaven, for yours is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Get ready to pray. We want to pray against we want to expel and reverse and to push back. We want to pray for the health of the people in the nation, for the affairs of the land, for our governments, for instructions and direction that they may make the right decisions and to live in a peaceful manner. Get ready to pray. Get ready to pray all over social media. Corona has been plaguing our land. It has been provoking. It has been causing havoc in our nations. It has been
What made you pull a hole in your hands? Inside the brain. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call on your matchless name. We call on your all-powerful name. We call on your great name, Lord. There is no other power than your power. There is no other power but to compare to your power. You are the omnipotent God. And I declare that Corona become impotent even now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray God that you must have given plan oh God of Corona. Jesus Christ. 
Where am I? Jesus. And my tongue we will shout. Hallelujah. Shout it, Hallelujah. Jesus. It's a kind of shout. Oh, Hallelujah. We are just, we are just eradicating corona. But we are getting rid of every disease in our life. Because the word of God said that he will heal the whole lives. And therefore, as we shout, Corona and every disease, whatever they are, whatever they are, we are eradicating them from our lives. Get ready, get ready. Tell somebody to get ready. Oh, hallelujah.
enough. We take authority over your cohort. We command you to become powerless. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in authority and power, and I declare over Jamaica that you will not take any act of God. You will not take any other lies. I deploy the blood over every lies in Jamaica. In the name of Jesus Christ, because people are going to God and their poor. If God fight for us, soul, tell me who can be against us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now. Yes. Everybody be, begin to give God thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Right we need to give him thanks for victory. We need to give him thanks for what he is doing and what he's about to do. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. There is power in him. There is power in him. Continue to give him thanks. Continue to give him thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Continue to give him thanks. Oh, Pastor, thank you. It's coming to us now. authority in fact. As a man of God who have delivered tonight, there is power in the blood. I want you to remember that it was that same representation in Exodus that spared the Israelites from the plague of death. They were given specific instructions to smear the top, the side post, and the basin was at the bottom. They should use some to smear their doorpost with the blood from a sacrificial lamb. Friends, we don't have to slay a lamb anymore. We don't have to place the blood on the door. Someone has taken the place of the Lamb and he is the great I am. There is power in the blood. And tonight if you are not staying with the blood of Christ which is accepting him through faith believing that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think. I say to somebody who may be watching, who is not saved, or you are strayed from the fold, the word tonight was turned to God. You have the opportunity tonight, right where you are. The beauty about this is that you don't have to be in a physical building. Because many times we think that the building is a church. But right where you are, you are a carrier. Don't you know that your temple, your body, is a temple of the living God. And right where you are, you can be converted. You can repent. You can turn back to God. It's simple. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. 
I repent. I am sorry. Lord, I'm cognizant of the fact that in times like these, I need you. So come into my heart. What some writer says, come in to stay. Come in today. Come in, I pray. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus. With the heart, you believe. With the mouth, you confess. Confess it tonight. As we draw this broadcast for close, we implore you that as you would have left us tonight, that you will continue to declare the blood of Jesus. Because it is when he sees the blood that the plague cannot come nigh your dwelling. He will pass over you. Tonight, may God bless you. May God cause his face to shine upon you. May God be gracious unto you and may he give you peace. May the blessing of the Lord be multiplied unto you. Until Sunday, when you join us right here, right at the same page. Hallelujah. Let's say Christian Mission. We'll be right here to share with you because we are declaring that even though our gathering is limited, the medium to spread the gospel yes. is expanding. And we are determined that nothing will cause us to stop spreading the word of God. And so we give God thanks for you who have joined us tonight. May God bless you. May he cause his face, as I said, to shine upon you. And may he enlarge the place of your tent. May he lengthen your cords and may he strengthen your stakes. May his hand be upon you. And may he keep you from evil. As we go out tonight, listen to this song. And be encouraged that the Lord is your shepherd. And he goes before you. God bless you. See you soon.